was always like a kid that was like 12 years old, like I'm just not gonna be a regular person. I Me, mean, I be wanting to touch people and keep people motivated and inspired. When I wake up sometimes, like where I come from, I wake up and feel like everything about the day is great. When I was in the hood, ain't had shit and that be praised. Damn near got like fun for life every night, shooting going on, you know what I'm saying? So to be here every day is good. Yo, what up? It's your boy Meek Mill. You right here watching Noisy Raps. When I was in North Philly, I was like more like 12 or 14. So, you know, we were just like little kids, like running around, just being bad little kids, not really getting to nothing serious. But when I got down South Philly, the kids that was my age, I was like 14, 15, kids my age selling crack. Kids my age got cars and dirt bikes and everything. They got all types of stuff. So, you know, it automatically drove me to the lifestyle because I love bikes. I always wanted to have my own money. I wanted a car. Of course, everybody wanted a car when they in high school. But when I started smoking, I always used to just lock myself in a room somewhere and just be writing the beats because it stimulated my mind and like just make dope music. I was sticking to the music, but it was it was a point in my life when I was like 17, 18. It's like 10th grade in school. I was like fully involved in the street, so I stopped even going to school. But while all that was going on, I still used to always take time of the day, like an hour or two, and dedicate it to me writing raps, and everybody always noticed that about me. I started hustling, and I was just thinking in the back of my mind, like, I'm not here to, like, make a career out of hustling. I'm just doing this to maybe studio time, keep food in my pocket, take care of whatever I got to do as an 18-year-old at the time. So. I ended up doing six months. I got my bell reduced to like 100,000. We paid 10% and I got out. When I got out, I'm thinking like, cause before I went in, I was like a little popping on the rap shit. Like it was like a DVD area. I'm thinking everybody gonna have love for me. People gonna look out for me when I come home and come home. I ain't got shit. So, you know, this time I come home, that shit really hit me like, damn, you gotta really put your mind to something if you don't wanna put yourself in this position no more. So, you know, I started taking rap serious and, and we started hustling. When we started hustling, we started seeing some feedback and everybody started taking to what I was doing. I came out with a song named In My Bag and you know, the radio took to a shout out to Cosmic Kev, QDZ, they were like the first people out of Philly to ever recognize me. They started playing it on the radio, but now I'm back on the streets, so I don't got no money, but I'm fighting like a heavy ass case right now, you know what I'm saying? So now I ain't got no choice but to hustle now because if you ain't got no lawyer, like history, and they just come and talk to you about just signing your life away. They don't really care. It's just like a five minute process. You want to take a plea guilty. You don't got no money. Most people going to plead guilty to cut their sentence down. So, you know, now I got to hustle. It's like I'm going against the system now. I got to pay my lawyer. Like now I'm paying a lawyer. But at the same time, I'm bubbling in rap. It's always sitting in the back of my head. I got this open case. So, like, I go to trial for it, lose it, get locked up right there on the spot. And this time when I got locked up, I dropped Flamers Tooth. I think this is my biggest mixtape ever, because once I went to jail, my mixtape dropped. Everybody knew that. The stuff I was talking about, they could believe it. Mostly everybody from the city knew me. We was moving around and stuff like that. So when I came home this time, everybody was playing my music all the time. So, you know, that gave me more motivation and just to keep pressing the gas. I look like I know what it felt like to have everything took from you and one day I went to court and just everything took now you in the cell eating garbage locked up 23 hours a day can't move I've been through that Private 
One thing we all got in common, all of us that work together, we all come from like nothing. This represents everything. Dream Chaser, like MMG, always the family. That's raw shit. That represents everything for him, but Dream Chaser represents everything for us. And we all kids that's just like chasing our dreams, that's linking up together. And we ain't had that. We had people go around there and shoot them guys off. Go kill it or go do that. It's, it's like people that set you up straight failure. I was talking to Hov from jail one day. I was like, yeah, like I kind of needed to sit down. He was like, we don't never need to go to jail. We don't never need to be locked away in no cell. That's for animals and stuff like that. They ain't never need it. But, you know, that's your situation right now. You know, get your head together while you're in it and make something out of it. Dirt bike riding is, like, the only thing that could bring, like, the young black people, like, from age, like, 24 to, like, 18, this is the only thing that brings that community together without violence. Like, cause like we'll be riding bikes. Say if it's 50 bikes. During the time while them bikes get rolled, like nothing takes place until these bikes get put up. So that, like it'll be two guys, they've been beefing their whole life, shooting at each other. They would ride together for that two hours just to not mess the bike world up. And then after that two hours over, it's back to war, back, everything goes, you know what I'm saying? Like, so in the bike community, like that's the only thing that takes to all the dope boys off the corner and don't have them on the corner selling drugs or playing with guns or he just wanted to be a good rider. He didn't want to grow up and be like the dope boy just on the corner, you know what I'm saying? It gave him another leeway, another option. They ain't really got a sport for Willie and yet, so, you know, we the ones that got to take responsibility to, you know, make that happen because we know we love it. We just gonna ride, practice and Willie, you know, up the back block, just chill for the day. Where I come from, like, I can't just be from, like, the hood and just have, like, a total opposite girlfriend. She don't know nothing about where I come from. She don't know nothing about... She don't understand me. So it's somebody that'll understand me, somebody that hustle, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's aggressive. You know, these are the things I like. And, you know, I used to always tell my friends, I got raps even talking about, like, such and such, such and such with Nikki. Like, I always had it like that. You know, that was somebody I seen that I admired at the time. I always seen it like this. I always seen it have me having, like, one of the top hustling, prettiest girls in the game. That's how I already, that's how my account was set up. I could wake up in my bed and, and just look at a nigga like, man, this shit gotta be a dream. Cause we used to dream all this shit and it's just going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Me losing my father at a young age, it just like inspired me to be like a super better father for my son, you know? You know, I try to make sure I be the best provider and put my son in the best situation as far as like education wise. So when my son older, 18, and he out here facing the world, you know, I ain't gonna be around all the time. He's smart enough to make decisions, you know what I'm saying? Make smart decisions, not just any decisions, because been in a lot of bad situations, but you know, I made it here, so I be wanting that shit to be known. Like this shit don't just stand for like, you no know, funny rap shit. It's like, everybody know there's blood, sweat, tears, risking lives and doing all types of shit to even be in this position, you know? And we like the few ones that made it here, we gotta like, represent. We gotta do something with Vice like one day. Like, I gotta take y'all on like a, a late night in the hood. Y'all might gotta hang with me all night on the block and see how like, that shit really go. That shit like incredible knowing we came from like rapping and battling on little camcorders to we all we out at LA making real money, you know what I'm saying? And just living in the, in the middle of the dream right now.